Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. In today's video, we are going to see about the FaceTime application. It is an exclusive feature just like iMessage, which we have recently, uh, you know, given a complete explanation about what are all the features that iMessage offers and how you can use it. Of course, these video series are completely for beginners. If you have just purchased iPhone or iPad or Mac computer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips, tutorials, and some interesting guides you know to use the best and get the best out of your apple products all right so in this video we will see the details of facetime and the first thing is how to activate it go to settings app and scroll down you know from the top you can scroll down and you'll see the messages and facetime option when you tap on the FaceTime, you will see the option, the toggle to turn it on and turn it off. When you try to set up your iPhone for the first time or iPad for the first time, this FaceTime feature gets automatically activated. If it is not activated, then you have to visit this FaceTime page from the settings application and then you can manually do the activation process. Simply toggle this button to turn it on and below you will see your associated Apple ID. If it prompts you to enter the Apple ID and password for the first time while activating, then do it. And below you will see the number and email addresses your apple id and secondary email addresses if you have added any to your apple id account with the details like how people can reach you at so these are the email addresses and phone number that have facetime activated for your contact and people don't have to add all of these just any one of these will be enough for for them to reach you through facetime application and below you will see the caller id details you can decide the phone number or your email addresses the apple id details that has to be displayed to your other in person and next to that at the bottom you will see the facetime live photos this feature is something like you know creating a gif of uh, uh, some funny moments that you are having with your friends on FaceTime call either a single call or group video call uh, that this will enable you to create a small GIF type of image you know which we call it as live photo in FaceTime in iOS terms all right the final one is the blocked contacts you can block any contacts to restrict uh, you know these numbers or email addresses the FaceTime Apple IDs uh, you know from calling you so you can configure it anytime you can edit and you can remove you can add new directly from the FaceTime app itself all right let's dive into the FaceTime application simply go to the FaceTime app and before you know explaining the process I must tell you one important thing that if you have purchased your iPhone from Dubai like in the UAE region then there is a possibility that FaceTime uh, feature is not available the application is not available on your iPhone there are two variants available in Dubai in UAE territory especially so due to the government restrictions Apple have disabled the FaceTime feature over there while purchasing your iPhone or iPad there you need to ask for the FaceTime activated whether the device is FaceTime activated or FaceTime deactivated model. So make sure about that because people in country like mine, you know, here in India, there is an option to buy uh, the used iPhones. And in that case, like if we have purchased the used iPhone, which came from UAE, then there is a possibility that FaceTime feature may not be there on your iPhone. So nothing can be done actually. As far as I know, there is no such unlocking feature or something, you know, some smart tricks to, um, you know, bring the FaceTime back on such iPhones. Uh, as far as I know. All right, let's see how to make your first FaceTime call. So simply tap on this plus button or you can pick one from the recent call history. You can also delete any, you know, the call history details by swiping left on that particular, you know, the call detail. And on the top right corner, you have to tap plus icon and type the name which you want to make a call. As you can see, uh, you know, while typing, you will see the list of contacts from your address book that shows the FaceTime enabled or FaceTime activated uh, contact details with their email addresses. If they have multiple points to reach them, like if they have enabled their Apple ID as well as the phone number, you will see all of them here based on what you have added to their contact profile. So here I have added uh, one person's uh, contact number and that has FaceTime activated. As you can see, after tapping on that, I can make either audio call or video call. I, I can decide that here if I want to make a video call. And instead of individual call, I'm going to make a group video call so I can add multiple FaceTime users here. To make the group video calling work, of course, I need to add more than one person. And here I'm going to make uh, the video 
all right to show you the features the other features that uh, you know that the facetime actually offers all right so here it is actually ringing right now it is trying to connect through my wi-fi network from bottom you can swipe up to access all the features so here you can see the two contacts that i have tapped on to you know enable to add with this facetime call i can turn the camera off the camera feature is on for my uh, contact alone i can turn it off if i want to i can put the call in speaker and right now i'm turning on the camera to show you how the effects work so here you can see the effects tab i can choose the animoji there you can see it kind of works like you know similar to the augmented reality um, i can choose the different filters uh, i hope you remember the app called clips uh, which was there uh, in iOS uh, previously and it is still there in App Store. You can download it. You can apply several filters here. So let me cancel that filter. I'm going to set it to default original and uh, then you can of course choose multiple you know options from here. You can choose anything uh, of the emoji that is available here and I'm going to stick with my avatar. And you can add text if you want to, you know, while making an individual call or group video call, you can choose uh, any text to be displayed here. You can drag it and drop it there and say, hi, hello. Okay, let it be hello. And um, closing it. And then if you want to add some shapes from this default set of shapes, you can do that. So I'm going to add this one and you can drag it and put it there. And then you can add Memoji stickers. So if you want to add some stickers, oh, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm tapping on this and then I can drag and drop it somewhere. And the next one is emoji stickers. You can add all these, you know, as I said before, like all of these works just like, you know, the augmented reality features enabled for your front camera. And uh, you can do more, like you can add GIF even. So here I'm just selecting a sample one. Miss you and it works with the transparent effect. So this is really cool. I can adjust the size of it and you will see some other extra applications that is you know applicable with uh, the facetime which has integration with facetime this works similar to the messages app and uh, we have already explained that in the detailed video uh, where all these applications that are exclusive to the messages app and some of them you know most of them are available here um, not all of them of course and you don't have an option to add or customize these applications and you can add more person if you want to by simply swiping up anytime during the call and this is how you can actually make the facetime audio call and video call and as you can see i have tried to call two people at this time and one was available and he have joined just from the you know the, uh, using the audio and another option to directly call them via facetime is when you go to your phone application tap on the i icon at the last option you know that is available next to the contact and you will see the phone numbers followed by the facetime option you can choose either the audio call or video call and this option will appear only if the particular contact number or the person have enabled the facetime and they have an iphone or ipad or mac computer that have facetime activated so this is how facetime works and i hope you have understood everything about facetime in this video and if you still have any questions related to facetime uh, do feel free to comment below and for more apple related tips and tutorials and interesting you know videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching have a wonderful day